Day three for Dara Maguire at the ICAC and the questions continue. What did Gladys Berejiklian know about your business dealings? The hearing began with an admission from the Commission that it had accidentally made public a transcript of evidence given in private. On behalf of the Commission, I would like to apologise both to Ms Berejiklian and Mr Maguire for that inadvertent uploading. The ICAC acknowledged that it was personal information. Suffice to say, it hasn't been pleasant. Part of that private evidence was officially published late today. It exposed inconsistencies in the pair's account on when their relationship started. Daryl Maguire was asked, would it be fair to say that you were in a close personal relationship with Miss Berejiklian in calendar year 2014? And he responded, yes. What about 2013? Yes. He later clarified and said 2014. Do you stand by your testimony that you gave on Monday that your relationship started in 2015? What I will say is um, whatever I've said uh, openly and transparently uh, is in the evidence on Monday. The hearing today again explored to what extent the Premier knew about Daryl Maguire's business dealings. There was particular bits of information that she didn't want to know about your activities. Uh, well, yes. And a tapped phone conversation was provided as an example. Mm. You know my little friend? Not really. Don't worry. You I don't, do. I don't need to know. Who's your, which little friend are you talking about? With the polished head. <laughs> and um, so he was down there. I introduced right. him, which was good. Mm. You don't need to know what for, but... Mm. Why did you say that you were meeting with your friend with the polished head, but you don't need to know what for? Um, to keep information from her. Why? a need-to-know basis. Didn't want to burden her with information that might not reflect well on you or perhaps her? Um, I'd suggest her that did, that wouldn't reflect well on her. The Premier gave her own take. So did you, did you actively limit the amount of information that you knew about Daryl Maguire's business dealings? I've already made that very clear and absolutely not. There's no doubt there's concern among the Premier's Liberal colleagues about just how damaging the evidence has been this week. Privately, the number of dissenting voices has grown, but they realise Gladys Berejiklian has support in the electorate, so they're unsure what to do. For now, they're continuing to back their leader. We have a great Premier in New South Wales, in Gladys Berejiklian. She is doing an extraordinary job. Each and every day, she selflessly puts the people of our state first, and she's done that this week in what has been a very difficult time. The Prime Minister's support is also unwavering. Gladys Berejiklian is the Premier that New South Wales needs. And after a tumultuous week, the Premier has made it clear she wants to get back to governing. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney. One of the deals Daryl Maguire was trying to clinch was the sale of land at Badgerys Creek to overseas investors. But as the member for Wagga Wagga, why did you care about that? Why were you spending your time dealing with that matter? Well, I, I regarded that as a political issue. It included this parcel of land near the proposed airport, owned by his friend Louise Waterhouse. Daryl Maguire said he was set to receive a commission from the investors of $1.5 million if it went ahead. The ICAC inquiry was played phone intercepts, where he told Ms Waterhouse to email the Premier about concerns with how the area would be developed. Spit it out in a, in a one or two pager. Yeah. Right? Okay. This is what you've been trying to do and these yes. people are getting in your way. Just kill them. Just off okay. with their head. OK. So, Thank take you. no prisoners. You know, we well, I might ring, you, if you're around, I might ring you with the draft and just see if you think it's not too mm -hmm, far. Mm -hmm. OK. Yep. All right. Thank you, Daryl. Actually, you're probably, you, you're probably better off not to dob me in it. Just send it to her. I will. OK, she, she won't mind. I'll, I'll just I'll walk down and tell her. He called the Premier the next day to see if she got it. Uh, did you get an email from Louise Waterhouse? No. Nope. You will. She'll send you an email. She's really pissed off now. So, um, about the, you know, the... The airport, mm. they're all passed in the back. The deal eventually collapsed. He admitted today when he was departing politics in 2018, he ordered staff to wipe records. When it became evident that um, I could no longer um, uh, retain the, the position of member for Wagga Wagga, that, that uh, I would have to resign, yes, I told them to wipe everything. He also spoke of his surprise when investigators came knocking three months later.
I think I was in shock. I actually sat outside and had a cigarette, which is, is terribly unusual for me. This now ends the questions for Daryl Maguire. It'll now be up to the Commission to evaluate his evidence and decide if the allegations of corrupt conduct are justified. Josh Babis, ABC News, Sydney.